Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 48. While I typically like to go in order of applet by applet, today we're going to skip the listings applet momentarily so that we can get into the consumer or agent sites applet. That'll make a little bit more sense <clears throat> once we teach how people can register on your site. And then we go back to listings and talk about collections and a few other things. So today we're going to dive into the very last applet on our screen. That's our websites applet, formerly known as consumer. This is where we're going to manage all things uh, agent and yeah, basically agent sites. We're not going to focus on team sites right now. So let's click on that and dive in. Now, this may be the error message that you're going to see if you've not ever done anything in agent sites and your onboarding process did not, uh, whoever you're onboarding with, right? So if you're a new agent or newer agent, uh, whoever onboarded you didn't claim a subdomain as part of your onboarding process. So if this is the case, then you would need to claim a subdomain. You can do that by coming into the settings menu. However, if you have not gone through the process of actually updating your marketing profile, which we have not done inside this ProCoach account, this is the error message that you're going to see. It's going to say, please come back at a later time while the systems update. Sometimes this process takes a while. Basically, what this means is your marketing profile, there's something missing. It's not complete. So you would come in and you would go into your settings menu. You would come over to connect settings and marketing profile and then double check that everything that is uh, required has been filled out. And you can see we haven't done any of that inside of this actual um, uh, account. So we're gonna pause the recording for just a second. I'm gonna switch to my account and then we'll start going through the basics of what the agent site uh, homepage looks like. So one second. All right, so this is what the screen will look like if you have already had your subdomain claimed. So we are on the settings tab. I'm still in the websites uh, applet on the settings tab. And I can come down and see what subdomain I have claimed or what was claimed for me as part of the onboarding process. Now, if for any reason you ever want to change this, it's a simple, simple switch. Just come in here and decide what you want to change. Just know that it may have impacts outside of command. So if you've done any marketing, if you've ever registered, uh, you know, if your Facebook profile, your Instagram profile, any other social profiles, uh, business cards, flyers, any sort of registration you've ever done for any sort of you know uh, alphabet soup accreditation that you may have, anything along those lines, just think, okay, where have I put this website out that I may have to change it? Now, if you're brand new, you don't have any business cards, you haven't done a signature anywhere, you haven't signed up for anything, it may be fine to tinker with this. Um, however, I am, in my opinion, once you get it set, you probably are going to want to set it for a long time. The only time I could see this maybe changing if you were changing markets for some reason, um, especially if your website is like homes for sale in Katy, Texas, right? And then I move somewhere. Well, then it's going to be not homes for sale in Katy, Texas anymore. So uh, that would be the only reason I could see changing that subdomain. Um, as you scroll down inside of this settings page, you're also going to get your mobile app. Uh, this is your KW app that you can share with consumers. We are going to have a couple of days of training on that, so stay tuned for that. But if you ever want to share your app or put that app link somewhere um, that could also be used in marketing materials, etc., this is where you can get that link. Next up, it's going to ask you some preferences about your agent sites. So by default, Keller Home Loans and Keller Covered, right? So this is mortgage, this is insurance. Uh, will be enabled on your agent site. Um, you can always go to your site and look at a listing page and you'll see that information actually on the listing page. Um, but if for any reason you don't want that on one or both, you can always come in and choose to disable one or both of those. In addition, uh, the neighborhoods are going to show up on your agent site. So those are being powered by the next door data right now. If you don't want that uh, data to be shown on your site, you can also choose to disable that. Next up, we've got forced registration. So this is when a consumer lands on your site. <clears throat> you all have probably had this happen to you where you go in and you click on any sort of real estate site. I mean, think about any of the big ones, right? Zillow, Redfin, et cetera. Um, and you start looking at a few properties and all of a sudden you get this pop-up that says, oh, please register to continue viewing properties or whatever it may be. That is forced registration and it is available on our agent sites. So you can decide, hey, when someone comes and visits my actual website, 
do I want them to be able to look at a few properties, a few more properties, all of the properties or none of the properties prior to them registering on that site? So you can see the four options. <clears throat> Mine is set to unrestricted. You can come to my website right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at properties all day long. I'm not going to force you to register. Uh, hopefully, if you have questions or you express interest, you can click on any one of the buttons that says, you know, tell me, uh, provide a home tour or tell me more. I can't remember the exact verbiage. Something along those lines. We'll look at it tomorrow. Um, but then I will capture their information, right? It, you may have different thoughts on that. So you may want people to be able to view 10 properties and then register. That's a whole lot of properties to be asked then to register. You could do two properties, right? Give them a little taste and then ask them to register. Or you can say, hey, you can't see any properties on my site unless you register. So totally up to you how that decision is made and you can change that at any time. So you can come back into the settings menu and change that depending on what your thoughts are, what sort of marketing and prospecting you're doing, what sort of traffic you're driving to your site, um, you know, several different schools of thoughts on forced registration. Uh, finally, you've got deactivate site down here at the bottom. This is only used for extreme circumstances. If for any reason you were uh, making a change and leaving Keller Williams, this is probably one of the things that your market center would ask you to do before exiting is to deactivate your site. Uh, if you are making any changes inside of this, so if you changed your domain, uh, you changed any of your settings with regards to what's displayed or your forced registration, you are going to want to make sure you come in and click on save changes. You can see that those may take up to 24 hours, uh, specifically if you're changing your domain name. I've seen that take as much as 24 hours. So just a heads up there. Um, from there, we're, we're at the same button either way. I can either click on the My Websites tab, Edit Agent Site, or from within the settings menu, I can choose to edit my website. I'm going to click on this button. We're not going to go deep into what's available here, but I just want to show you this home screen as well. We're going to dive into this a whole lot moving forward. So <clears throat> you've got an entire page here, and we're going to go back actually to the um, Pro Coach account because there's nothing in that, and I can show you what it looks like from start. But this is basically just the introduction to the screen that you're going to use and that we're going to use together to build out several different aspects of our agent site. So stay tuned for that. I'll have several videos after this. I'm, I've been very impressed with the recent updates and changes that have been made to agent sites. Um, a lot of new functionality and it's pretty exciting. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.